Hi everybody, it's Ryan from Riveviews.com, and today I'm playing Save the Pig by Iron Games Studio. Yeah, Iron Games Studio, plural, apparently. So, this is a game where it's a platformer, and your pig was stolen for some reason. Not entirely sure why I haven't made it to the end of the game. At any rate, you're running around trying to collect these items, which I'm going to call blue floaty orbs. And in your quest to do that, you have to jump and shoot and do a few other things, some double jumping. It's a platformer. And unlike some other platformers, there's not a whole lot of interestingness to it. Um, I don't want to be too cruel to a game ever, okay? But this is a very, quite boring platformer. Um, as the game goes on, you do end up fighting enemies and then such, and so that does help quite a bit. Early on, these levels are stupidly, like, frustrating and easy. Um, and, you know, some platformers are easy to, to, you know, to teach you how to play the game, okay? So this one obviously starts off fairly easily. But at the same time, this game has way too many kind of frustrating, oh, can I make this jump? No. Can I make this one? No. Kind of retry things, and the double jump doesn't work particularly well. It's hard to really time properly. Um, and your amount of hearts are difficult. Uh, you only have three hearts. You can collect more. Like, if you run through a heart and you have three, you can get up to four, and presumably more. Uh, but at the same time, it's pretty damn easy to lose hearts quite fast. Um, so that's a little frustrating. Uh, plus, those blue floaty orbs don't seem to have any real purpose. Um, you can, you know, it's a collectible, so, you know, they're, they're, they, but they are not required collectibles. You don't have to get a certain number to pass the level. You don't have to get all of them. You just have to get to the end. So that's kind of weird. Um, and I have very little motivation to go back and get any of them, I have to say. Um, you know, if I was a completionist, maybe. But in general, just kind of there. Um, so, well, it's easy. I got them. But otherwise, I kind of moved on from that. Um, so, fairly boring platformer. Uh, I wouldn't particularly recommend it. If you really love platformers, you know, it's, it's a game to play, and then this has some cool fighting later on, but in general, the, bo the, the boringness of the game, especially in the beginning, is not really particularly worth getting around to fighting enemies, which still was not that entertaining. I'm sorry. So let me know what you think of the game in the comments. If you disagree with me, please let me know. Uh, maybe I need to actually play through to the end. Maybe the last few levels are much better, but... In general, I was not impressed at all. I was not looking forward to the prospect of playing more. Thanks for watching, everybody. Visit www.rivies.com for more content, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.